Okay, Michael. Well, your box has arrived. I'm going to go ahead and get you opened up and have a look what you sent. All sorts of goodies. <laughs> and bands and straps and couple of things here. So you got yourself a Seiko original. Off there. But not the Seiko. And you are actually on an Uncle Seiko. Which looks good. All right. So I'm going to set these aside. We'll talk about those sort of offline. And I'm going to focus mostly here on the watch as the uh, object of interest for this particular video. Okay. Nice. Interesting. Somebody has filled in a little blue <laughs> on the background. All right, so let's have a close look. Let's take a very close look at what you've sent. Okay. Nice dial text, looks good. Loom looks good. This is a 1977, November 77, 6309, 7049. It's got really not much wear on the back. Um, overall, case looks really good. Got, you know, not much actual wear on this watch. It's a good one. Good click ball. Nice insert. Looks really clean. Of course, your, you know, crystal is a little scratched. Um, but overall, quality of the quality of the watch itself is very good. Um, good dial, nice loom, good hands. Uh, overall, a very good looking watch. Um, seems to be running, that's good. Let's just kind of power through some of the, some of the things here, we're gonna Look at the way that things turn over. Okay, there's date and day. That's always good. Let's just make sure that we're not hiding anything here. Condition is nice, but we want to make sure everything is right. So that's quick day and quick date. Both function as they should. So, solid, solid watch. interesting, the blue. I've seen that. Maybe somebody decided to be artistic. I don't know if that's a Seiko thing or not. I've never seen a colored back. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get the watch open. I want to look at the movement real quick. I had a feeling it was going to be a little tight. But yeah, okay, so give me a moment and I'll be back. Okay, so I got it loosened up, but I haven't opened it yet. Just want to point out, you do have this one tooling mark um, and a couple little tiny things here and there, but otherwise, case back is in good shape. So let's take a look. What do we got here? So I see one mark in the back. Not clear what that means. Uh, very old 
seal looks a little stiff, um, but not bad. Certainly worth replacing. The movement is clean. That's always nice to see. All right, let's go ahead and fully um, inject power into the movement. Make sure that we're at 100%. Let me uh, let me do one thing first here. It's a little loose. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this on the time grapher. We're going to have a look at how your movement is responding. And then we'll come back. Okay, one minute. Okay, Michael, well, uh, here on the time grapher, it's been a few minutes. Uh, let the power spike sort of do its thing. And, you know, frankly, this is a this is a good place. I mean, I think your your watch is actually running quite well. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things. It It's a very good looking watch. You have a crystal that could probably be replaced if you really wanted to. Um, or you could essentially just wear this watch. Um, I could make some minor adjustments. Your beat error is a little bit, a little high, but that's nothing uh, major. You're losing a tiny bit of time per day, but this is well within spec. Um, this number here is the number I look at when I see a watch and also the cleanliness of these, of these lines. This should be one line. That's what this beat error does. Uh, but in the 220s, you know, mid to high 220s, um, lend, you know, leading towards 230, it's not bad. Um, you could go either way. I mean, yes, the numbers are, are varying a little bit now, um, but this is really your call. Um, I want you to decide, you know, if you want to have me go in and, and do the full treatment, I can certainly do that. Um, if you want to wear the watch and just enjoy it as it is, I don't see any reason that that can't be done. Um, so it's, it's sort of up to you. I'm, you know, I'm here to service watches, but I'm, I'm also here to be honest about the assessment. So, um, is this watch serviceable? Yes, of course, everything uh, is serviceable. Um, is it going to let you down? I don't know. I don't know the last time this watch was serviced. I really don't know what, what the history is, and I don't think uh, you do either. Um, you know, these numbers aren't, are, are sort of trailing off at the moment, um, but to be honest, you know, again, it's your call. Um, let me know what you'd like to do. We can we can go as far as you want, um, and I'm happy to do either. So I can either put it in a box and send it home, or I can service it and um, give you the sort of next five to seven years of, of use. It's really uh, it's really again up to you. So I'll send you this video, and we can go from there. All right, thanks a lot.